Um, so we did the mat, we've done the Cadillac, um, and we've done the springboard. This is, these are the reformer exercises that you could pick for somebody who's pretty uh, severe, sensitive. Uh, so I was going to steal one of you again to come up. I won't spend a lot of time with footwork and bottom lift just because most people are so aware of them. We were talking about how you know these exercises but we're changing the focus a little bit. So somebody with a disc dysfunction, my goal with footwork is really a way to have them move in a supported way. So laying down where most supported, this is almost that 90-90 position we talked about as being the most unloaded place for them to be. So my concern here is her alignment, where is she? And that she's keeping that pelvis still, right? So the tailbone still, her spine position is neutral ideally here, right, when we're working through. If there's somebody who's so acute, and again, you're worried about them being able to maintain the neutral, you can do a number of things. You can put that little towel in their neutral space below their spine, just a thin towel. If they can't hold neutral and you want to keep them safer, you can wedge them into a flat back. So that's not ne maybe necessary here, but go ahead and push all the way out. When the legs go straighter, what happens to people who are not stable enough? Do you know what happens? Do you want to show what happened? They go the uh, yeah that way. So that, for somebody who's really acute, now arching with a disc issue is not really a problem for us, but somebody who's that acute, any extra movement may be bothersome. So that's that would be the only reason why you would wedge somebody with a disc dysfunction, right? So it's not as common as supporting the neutral spine. It would be more likely what you want to do with a disc person, right? So go ahead and press in and out a couple times. So I'm always on these, our goal is stability for this person. So we're creating stability and we're allowing the movement. So some of my clients will get on and they'll be like, oh, I just haven't been able to move for so long. This feels so good because I can actually move and it doesn't hurt. So it doesn't hurt because of the support and we're getting movement. So we can get movement, we can warm up their body here. So you can take any of the footwork positions and do it. Um, let's go parallel. Parallel, monkey on a branch, right? And then pressing out again. A little bit more controlled. When they're in turnout, you wanna make sure they're just not floppy. You wanna keep that connection and allow them to feel connected at the top of every motion. Um, for the chair, one of my favorites is actually not at all a classic, but I'm gonna take the bar down to the floor and have you stand on it, on your tippy toes, yeah. So it's, I use this for balance a lot too, but I also use it to teach posture a lot. So this is why it's one of my favorite first standing exercises to work with somebody on who has a back injury. So coming into that position, I tr tell them to keep the weight a little bit forward. And in fact, if they want to balance, their weight has to be a little bit forward, they'll find, and controlling. So the feet are getting work, their body's getting work, they're getting work all the way up through the top of their body. If they're doing a good job like Genevieve here and they're more advanced, you can have them going up and down calf raises trying to hold without, without holding on. Yep, and just controlling that body's posture the whole way.